Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to you to last. My name's Kerry Arthur, and oh dear God, it's Warhammer Quest. So, this game, this game, I've already got a couple of issues with it, right? And that's going to sound harsh. That's going to sound harsh, but just bear with me. The first issue is that it's an iOS port. An iOS port that costs £2.99 on the iPad and costs £10.99 on Steam. Uh, unless you buy the deluxe version, which is £19.99. Now, both of those are in fact 20% off, so it's only £8.79 and fifteen ninety nine for release. Well, just before release, technically, because I'm recording this on the 6th, and it comes out on the 7th. So, that's the first thing. The second thing is it's a Warhammer game, and Games Workshop have been apparently absolutely intent on shitting all over any sort of video game that contains their IP. Uh, I don't know why they've suddenly decided that they will make almost every game they put on the market, a terrible iOS port, but there you go. That's just how it seems to have gone recently. I mean, obviously there are exceptions. I mean, the Mordheim game that's being developed at the moment, that's actually really quite good. And of course we had Warhammer 40k Armageddon, which was a, a you know very good strategy game. However, you have to admit, it's been a bit flooded with shitty iOS ports recently, hasn't it? So, so, let's address it head on, shall we? Let's just go straight in. There's additional content. Now this is all part of the deluxe pack, uh, which I've got, as you can see, um, and you get Archmage, Brightwood, Christ, uh, uh, oh no, it doesn't like the scroll wheel, my apologies, it does not like the, bollocks, no, come back here. You get different warriors, Archmage, Bright Wizard, Dwarf, Troll Slayer, Shadow Warrior, Ogre, Iron Gut, Warrior Priest, Witch Hunter, and then there are region enemy packs, and there's also legendary weapons, and there's also dungeon packs. So there's quite a hefty amount of stuff on top of the base game. But, no gold. Can't see any gold there. So that's a, that's a positive. We're going to go straight in here and uh, I think I'm in the middle of killing some guys. Because I've played a little bit. Uh, just to, you know, get to grips, get to grips. So here we are. Here's some spiders and some rats, what I'm in the middle of killing. I've got, uh, like, a, a guy. <laughs> I, no, he's a marauder. I know what he is. Uh, I've got an Ironbreaker chap, I've got some elf woman who is, who's got a bow, and I've got a grey wizard. Now, now, before we slash these guys asunder, I'm going to go to this button here. Because as we saw, no gold. Surprise! There's gold. There's gold. Look, there's gold. For a minute there, I thought those were extra weapons that I could buy, but they're not. They're just not greyed out for some reason. Gold, look at it. You can get 4,000 gold, you can get 18,000 gold, or you can get 60,000 gold for £21, holy shit. Now, this is an issue. This is an issue, if you ask me. Because if you spend £20 on this game for an iOS port, I'm just going to point that out again, it seems unreasonable that you would need £21 to buy 60,000 gold. But the question is, do you need the gold? Well, well, according to the App Store, and I'm showing you the three views right now that showed up when I went to the... Uh, the page for the game on the App Store. Yes, you do actually need to buy gold. <laughs> I say it quite quite clearly and plainly. One person even says you need a bit of a mortgage to uh, to play this game 20 degree. That's not looking promising. Not least for the fact that people complain about it on Steam and as you can see from this little thing here, one of the guys says that, like one of the developers says, well, we could have taken it out but it could break the game. In what way? Would it just become non-functional? Would it just die? Would its machine spirit leave? And you would be, you know, in ruins, unable to get your land raider started? Or would it just be that no one could actually get past a certain point? He does say that you don't need the gold, but... Then he says it would break it to take it out? I don't know. I mean, this could just be an Assassin's Creed Unity slash Black Flag thing, where it's like, yeah, you can pay money if you daft, because it's, you know, it's possible, but you don't really need to. But then again, people who've played the app on the iPad says you need to. So, I don't know. That's going to be an interesting one. That is going to be an interesting one to find out. Hopefully you don't, because that would be gash. So, let's attack these spiders. This is essentially the game. You have a series of corridors, as you can see. Uh, that's got some pixelated stuff on it. And then you have these rooms, what are full of monsters. So I've gone through that one and this one, and now I'm going through this room that's actually like a corridor. So there's a bit of variation there. And uh, I'm killing monsters. And it being an iOS game. Oh dear. There we go. 
Oh, hello. You went mental and attacked two of them. Oh, I've got an achievement. Uh, so, yeah, kill that. This guy's got some winds of magic. So we're going to attack that guy with the winds of magic. Not the winds of magic, the shadow bolt. Oh, that's killed him. Nice one. Okay, brilliant. Uh, oh, for God's sake. This is irritating as well. You have to click off the character to hit end turn. There's no just permanent end turn button. Yeah, all right. Uh, well, that's what you get. So, we've added some stuff to stash. We've got a potion of healing and 50 gold. Now, oh, I am victorious. You're damn right I'm victorious. Okay, he is not close to leveling. Neither are they. No one is close to leveling. But that's, well, he's certainly got the, uh, oh, you, you, what? I thought the cow brother did better than him. No, oh, well, whatever. So, there's quite a lot of stuff packed into this. Well done, you've made out your first dungeon in peace, more or less. Now let's go to the nearest settlement to spend your hard-fought earnings. Click on a settlement, then press the travel button on the settlement card to move there. Ooh, 50 gold. Yes, I know. Yeah, get off. Bugger off. Okay, so we're going to go to Siegfried Hof. We're going to trap... I don't know what... What? That's a weird layout for that. Never mind. Off we go. Off... Oh, yeah, there we go. See, this is the thing. It's got it's got stuff like this, which is kind of nice. But it's still an iOS port, and it still doesn't look very good. And I just, I don't, I, I really don't know what to make of this. I'm going to be honest, I just don't know what to make of it, because... You've got a lot of stuff to read through. It's, it's weird. There seems to have been, like, a lot of effort put into this. The miserable minstrel. Yeah, okay, great. So. Oh, come on. No. No, do not do that. That's bad. I don't like that. What the fuck? Okay, so. As you can see, we've got all this stuff. So we've got, like, healing potion. You've got different equipment slots. And different weapons. And, you know, there's common, uncommon, rare. I mean, here's all the... <laughs> all the people in the world, apparently... All of the warriors that I didn't have are here at this town. Oh, he comes with an uncommon item. Why does his thing not fit in there? That's irritating. What? What the... What the hell? What? Stop it! The... Okay. And there's also... Yeah, there's... There's... <laughs> there's abilities. You know, they've got... They've got abilities and... And they unlock stuff at as they go up in levels, and... This just seems like a hell of a lot of stuff to put into a game where, so far, the actual gameplay itself seems pretty damn shallow. Holy crap, I mean, look at that. Straight away, 3,000 gold. Uh, let's buy some medium bandages and some small provisions. Oh, look. That No, that'll do. Uh, we can sell stuff. So we could sell that... Mm, no, we won't sell that, because I don't know what it is. Adventurer's Guild. So, I mean, look look at all this stuff. There's been a lot of effort put into this. As an iPad game. But there's been naff all effort put into it as a bloody PC game. And that's what irritates me. Like, yeah, okay, it's got microtransactions, which I don't like. And by the way that, you know, people who've played the, uh, the app, you know, the game on the App Store, they seem to think that it is absolutely in, you know, necessary to have extra gold, you know, to have bought extra gold, which is not not really what I want to hear. Uh, yeah, we'll go there. But this is the thing that irritates me and baffles me with Games Workshop. You know, we're going to try some different guys. Uh, no, I don't want him. I don't want, a, don't want him. Don't want him. I want Let's go Jacob the Penitent, Snorri Shame Beard, uh, Golf Eye Bitter, and Felix Strauss. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to sit here and slam this game and hate on it and say it's shit, because that's not really fair. But I don't also feel I can sit here and go, yeah, you should absolutely buy this. I mean, if you've got a bloody iPad, by all means, knock yourself out. Buy the game, if you want to play something like this. But, why would you play it on PC? 
you know, there's a decent amount of content here. They've obviously put quite a bit of effort in. But I don't understand why you put that much effort into filling a game with content and then so little effort into making it worth playing on the PC. It's just baffling and I don't understand it. And it's irritating because this is not a difficult platform to make games for. They've already proven this, right? We've already got decent games on the horizon. We've had plenty of decent games in the past. So what gets me is the fact that... Go over there. We've got something like this, which has obviously had care and attention put into it, but we don't have anything that is suitable for this platform right now, beyond, like, Armageddon. I know Eternal Crusade's coming, but God knows how long that's, you know, that's off. Ah, oh, it just, it bugs me. It bugs me. And the fact that we don't know whether, you know, the, uh microtransactions are going to play a big part in this game or not, that's irritating, because I'd love to tell you whether they actually do or not, but I, I, I can't. <laughs> I just I can't tell you that at this stage. I mean, this seems to be the core gameplay of the game, which is hardly that thrilling. There's a fair amount to read through, yeah, but if in between reading you are essentially just doing this, that's going to get boring pretty damn quick. And if you do reach a stage where you absolutely cannot progress any further, without paying some money, then I'm not interested, frankly. No, he's missed. Useless. Go on, smack it. Why do I have to double-click everything? That's irritating as well. Okay. So, Bane of the Undead. Stay. No, I can't do anything with that, so I've got to end the turn. Fast forward. I mean, that's... Look at it. That's all it... Yeah, I, go away. Go away. I'm trying to zoom out. This is the game. Alright? <laughs> this is it. This is the entirety. It's going to cost you, like, 11 quid if you don't grab it within the next, like, 24 hours. Is that worth it to you? Because it doesn't look worth it to me. It just doesn't look worth it to me. I don't really have anything else to say. I just don't... I don't see why this is on the platform that it's on. I'm afraid that's all there is to it. I'll catch you next time, people. Toodaloo.